Welcome to On the Set. I'm Jeannie Marie D'Amico, but you can just call me Jeannie. Today we have an incredible show about something that I'm sure you've always considered and always wanted. Today we have the Mad Tatter. You say tattoo, we say tats. Welcome, Kamara Murray, the Mad Tatter. How are you today? I'm great, Jeannie. Thank you for having yeah. me. What an incredible, inspiring project and business you have. Can you tell us a little bit about how you started? Yeah, I started in tattoos about six years ago, maybe seven years ago, and originally I was in the tanning business. I had done that for four or five years, and uh, we had introduced airbrush tanning into our area, and we're the only ones offering it for a while. These uh, distributors for tattoo companies will call tanning salons, hair salons, and things like that to distribute and market their products. I got a call within the first three weeks of opening my tanning business and didn't go with this. Um, I went with the airbrush tanning and it was great. I had a lot of fun doing it. It's a very interesting business. Uh, but towards the tail end of my tanning career, I did get another call from the same company. They talked to me a little bit about the, the airbrush tattoos, actually convinced me to take a show before I had even purchased the set up, which I did do and had a successful event. Uh, so I decided to go ahead and, and try the tattoos, and it's been great since. What do you like? You like it better, obviously. What is the reason that you like it better? I like tattoos because you airbrush tattoos, number one, are painless. Um, well, so, so isn't the airbrush tanning. Airbrush tanning is painless. Yeah. True. That's true. Uh, I think that I like the um, customer base a little bit better. I'm a little bit more comfortable with the customer base. We work with kids primarily mm -hmm. and kids are what I'm passionate about. I'm really passionate about um, being around children and making children smile and sharing their their uh, moments. So this was a perfect opportunity to meld some different skill sets that I already had um, with what I'm passionate about in life, which is uh, having fun with children. and It gives them a memory of the day too because it's on them because it lasts for some, quite some time, doesn't it? It can last up to two weeks. Mm -hmm. Typically they'll last between five and ten days, but they can last up to two weeks if someone wants to take care of them well, mm -hmm. and there's some things that they can do to do that. Um, so yeah, they are fairly long-lasting. And I know a lot of people mm -hmm. regard, you know, have considered having tattoos that are injected, you know, the ink is injected in your skin, but they don't for many different reasons, whether it's uh, religion or cost or they're afraid or different things, and it's permanent too. Sure. And you might want to take it off and remove it, and that can be, you know, damaging to your skin and sure. painful and expensive. This way, you get to have variety like every two weeks. Yeah, right? we think we think this is the best way to go. Of course, we would, mm -hmm. but um, it's really a uh, almost a fashion accessory at this point. You see um, women utilizing all kinds of things these days: flowers, mm -hmm. uh, excuse me, feathers in their hair. Um, they're doing small wraps. Actually, you have. Oh you my have gosh! One I right have there. I have a wrap. Yep. And I even have a feather. Yeah. <laughs> you found me out. <laughs> <laughs> well, see, the nice thing about yeah. that is you can take that out and change the coloring or change the style anytime you want to. And that's what really fits with the tattoos as well. Mm -hmm. You get to pick from an array of designs. Um, we can offer them in all black, sort of a traditional uh, base color, or full colors. Mm -hmm. And people really like that. Um, they can choose what, what they want. So we feel it's a better option because you get to take it off. Uh, you're not stuck with something that you don't like. You can wear it on a specific night if you need something that goes with the event that you're going to be attending or... Don't a lot of men also do that or, I mean, there's a certain age bracket that might not think it's, you know, the coolest thing, but then they realize, I don't want to get a real tattoo and then they, they come see you? Isn't Yeah, we do, going out? We, we do get that to some degree. I would say it's... Um, far more women than men that mm -hmm. take advantage of this. And I think that's probably caught up in male masculinity mm -hmm. and it's not, not a real tattoo, so to speak. But we do get a lot of men who 
um, want to do it for specific things. Like we have um, some bodybuilders that will come by and for their show they want to put on right. tattoos to kind of highlight themselves. Mm -hmm. uh, we also have individuals if they're attending a party mm -hmm. or things like that. So we do get men that, that are into this, just not as much as the women have been. And there is that age bracket between probably 17 to 20... Mm -hmm. nine or 30 where it's just not so cool to wear an airbrush tattoo before that and after that people are more relaxed about it and they enjoy it speaking of what's cool what what do you think um, as far as the history goes is is there a trend right now of where you're placing the body art tattoos there are there are some trends that follow along with um, actual real tattoo placement. Um, one of the things that's really been very popular with young girls is on the back, which is... Uh, the lower an, back. The lower back, which is an area that's really popular with women. Mm -hmm. And um, you call that a stamp. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's been very, very popular with young girls. This is the kind of thing where, you know, young people are seeing their parents or people that they look up to with tattoos and with these different designs. So of course they want them. They mm -hmm. want to be uh, like their parents or like, like whoever. And um, <clears throat> you see a trend in the in the U.S. and maybe in the world of tattoos, just sort of a revival mm -hmm. of tattoos. Um, they've become a huge industry in our in our country and and uh, have been legalized in a lot of areas that traditionally were not. It mm -hmm. wasn't legal to put tattoos on, like Massachusetts. And you've just seen an incredible um, abundance of people getting tattoos and really into the whole lifestyle of that. So it's really helped our business. Mm -hmm. um, we're sort of the lighter side of that, and we think that um, that, that can work for a lot of individuals. Mm -hmm. Many people just don't know that there's an option out there uh, that they can take advantage of. So people come to you in certain locations, or do you go to them? We do both, actually. Mm -hmm. We have a location in Faneuil Hall in Boston. Perfect. Uh, yeah, it's Wow, great. it must be so busy there. It is. It's very, yeah. very busy. Um, we've been there for about six years now, mm -hmm. wow. and we love it. Yeah, mm -hmm. we love it. And we've, we've built quite a name there, and we have a lot of regular customers that see us year after year. And mm -hmm. some of the parents tell us we are the highlight of their trip. You know, the kids oh, talk wow. about it Yeah, for weeks before and for weeks after. Mm -hmm just to come in to the tattoo booth. So it's really exciting to be able to be in that kind of a position in, uh, in uh, entertaining people. And would you like to demonstrate right now on some of our audience? Sure. That yeah, would be that really would good. Be, and then yeah. you can explain it. We can see it. You know what? We're all visual. We're all visual. And that's the beauty about the airbrush tattoos. And, uh, and that's the beauty about watching a demonstration here, too. So we'll be right back. Great. We're ready. We're on. So Kamara, show us your stuff. So the airbrush tattoo, when it goes on, it, it actually is reminiscent of a, of a real tattoo in that we use a kind of tool like this. A lot of other temporary tattoos might be stick-ons, things you might get out of the supermarket. So this is a little bit more sophisticated, and it gives the kids a sense that they're really getting something that is not real but close to real. Uh, the ink itself is a, a completely safe ink. It's actually safer than peanut butter. It's been FDA approved. It's hypoallergenic and non-toxic. It's the only ink that we'll use. And it comes in any color that you might like. We can even mix colors, for example, red and white, to come up with pink. And I can do that right in the machine. And, you're, and this is FDA approved. And when you say safer than peanut butter, people, a lot of people have allergies to peanuts. Correct. Not to Correct, yeah. yeah. There's, there's a lot of individuals that another form of temporary tattoo is henna. It's mm -hmm. very popular and uh, we like henna a lot because it lasts a long mm -hmm. time. Uh, however, there are some drawbacks. Henna's a, got a chemical component to it and um, it can have some um, reactions. Reactions, reactions to the skin, yeah, that aren't But here you can beneficial. create the color of henna because mm. show us your gun here. It has it's like one of those pens that I remember growing up with that you could, you know, click and change the color. Yeah, that's true. It's really a breakthrough uh, invention. This, they call this a power palette, and this is the dial for the power palette. And mm -hmm. you're right. It's a breakthrough invention. All, all your colors are right here. And by mixing 
uh, let's say going between red and blue, obviously mm -hmm. I get purple and green and any of your right. other uh, peripheral colors. So it's really a, a nice machine and, and yeah. different than a lot of the other ones that are on the market. You know what's nice is you can have conversation with kids when you're tattooing them. Um, and say, well, what color makes when they ask for color that's not on here? Yeah. So test them a little bit. You yeah, know, yeah. And have a conversation. <laughs> sure. So sure, how do you like sure. that? It's awesome. Thank you. You're very that welcome. That is beautiful. Looks good. Looks good. Beautiful. Okay, let's have our next one. What I'm trying to do now is show a, everyone oops, how quick these tattoos can be. Um, uh, come a little bit forward if you could, hon. Thank you. Now, uh, we do set up at a lot of festivals. We do a lot of larger events where they'll have um, different types of entertainment and uh, one of the things that we market about tattoos or airbrush tattoos is that it works so much faster than a lot of the traditional forms of entertainment so um, when you're thinking about your face painting or you're thinking about some other things along that line generally they can take some minutes to apply where an airbrush tattoo usually is completed in under a minute and oftentimes it doesn't take more than two minutes maximum and like you say, we can use any color that we desire. They can pick any color, and it's really easy to apply those colors. Just like so. So people put tattoos on for different reasons. Some are thinking about their mothers, right? And what other reasons? That's true, yeah. Um, people put them on for many different reasons, some for celebration, some for, in fact, mourning, if they're mourning, uh, you know, sickness or death of a loved one, um, something memorable to put on themselves. Uh, people for, me, for me, I like sexy tattoos. You like sexy <laughs> tattoos, right, right. But well, I've seen funny ones, too. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. We, actually, we have a large portion of people that come to our cart purely to entertain somebody else. So they're going to put a tattoo on to fool their parents or something like that, mm -hmm. and they have a lot of fun with that. They have a lot of fun with that. Um, but yeah, you're right. Um, I mean, we've done uh, events in nightclubs and things, and obviously people are getting their tattoos for their sexy accessories. Mm. But yeah. Oh, any? I bet she's excited. Yeah, hopefully. It's building up. Hopefully. <laughs> We are almost done with this young lady. And we're just putting on a combination of colors for her. A lot of times you let people pick their colors. Oh, oh my goodness, that is beautiful. That looks nice. You're very welcome. And, and something called tat off will get, you know, how the, the airbrush, you clean it up a lot too. Yeah, we do have yeah. a solution that's specifically yeah. designed for. You can do uh, me. Sure, great, Jeannie that's specifically designed for um, removing this kind of solution, the ink mm -hmm. that we use. Now, what color would you like? Oh, I like um, purple and purple. Purple, you like purple. Good. Okay, we can do purple, not a problem. Um, I don't like to put on one color. I think we'll, we'll jazz it up for you a little Surprise bit. I'll just me. Take, a, take a... Surprise me. Yeah, I'll, Show me what you got. I'll let the artist uh, decide what to do with you. It tickles. <laughs> yeah, it goes on very gently. Nice. Um, it's actually funny in the in the hot weather. Kids love to get these tattoos because they cool them down. I really like that. And they're very fast, very very fast. It's an it's very important to to a child, but even to an adult. So do a good job. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. No problem. We, we keep a standard of our tattoos, even, even when well, we're demonstrating. I see the quality. Absolutely. It was amazing. So these last up to two weeks? Yep, they last okay. up to two weeks with minimal care. What um, kind of care? Basically, you just want to be gentle with the tattoos in the shower. Um, you don't want nice. to scrub your tattoo when you are showering. And okay. be gentle with your toweling as well. Else? Nice. Come on over, my friend. Yeah, we want to take care of it. Where are you going to have that? Okay. What made you pick this tattoo, by the way? I don't know. I like... I don't know. You, look, you <laughs> I just, like... I, I just decided to get this one. Beautiful. Good choice. It's fun. That's why. Wow. He does the edges of it. Do you see that? Actually, this is a really popular tattoo. A lot of our um, small dinosaurs and mm -hmm. things like that are really popular. With teenagers who might not typically get one, 
they like the idea of getting something cute that they can talk about amongst themselves and I'm sure this, this nice. guy is not looking for cute but <laughs> no. That's okay. Yeah, very nice. And these stencils you can use over and over. Over and over. We, you're wow. welcome, sir. Wow, nice. We've used them literally hundreds of times. And who's next? Times. Do we have nice more? Stencils. So again, just okay. trying to demonstrate how quickly we can run through people and yeah. everyone can um, have a chance to really experience this at an event, a birthday party, or a fundraiser. Yeah. Um, it's a very practical service. It's fun. Have a mini color that you like. Yeah. So. You're so yeah. flexible with it. We have some more people from our audience that wants another Great. tattoo. Great. We Great. aim to please Kamara. He, you're going to do an ankle. Okay, come so, on over here. Come on uh, up. This is going to be a little bit awkward for you. Um, is there any way you can get your ankle up here for me? Good job. You're flexible. And I just want to put this back on. Here, we have a little Some technical there we go. difficulty. Thank you. Okay, there you go. So we obviously have a real tattoo enthusiast here. She's now back for her second second mm -hmm. tattoo. And the Mad uh, Tatter's happy about that. Absolutely. <laughs> he's, a, he's a happy Mad Tatter. That's right. That's right. So, and, and you don't even need permission from your mom no. to have this. She'll be <laughs> happy about that. We, you know, at the cart, we do encourage children to at least call their parents or text them just to be aware that they're putting something on their body. Some parents still may have an issue with anything going on in their chil mm -hmm. children's body, and we respect that. However, for safety purposes, there's nothing here that would prevent a child from doing it. Awesome. Nice. Thank All right. you. You're welcome. Okay. Thanks so much. Come on up. We have another All right. one. This looks like it's going to be a leg or not? Yeah, okay. Leg if that works. Sure. She's Let's flexible. She yeah. looks yeah, flexible. Right. Try. Yeah. Okay. And I was going to do like a red and yellow or whatever would work. Okay. Sure. Oh, that would be nice. Yeah, I thought that might be cool. Absolutely. We've got about. Um, Oh, I'd say probably a thousand different stencil designs to choose from that we offer at any given event or at Faneuil Hall. So it's rare that someone comes and can't find something that they'd really like. You can't really make a mistake. Um, see, you're just so creative, and it's like Thank you very much. everyone. It's, you it's, just I would say it's, it's a little bit, I would love to take all the credit for it, but it's a little bit in the system and in the technology. It's, it's As you say, it's hard to make a mistake um, with this type of thing. So usually people are leaving very happy. Well, your mom must be very proud of you. <laughs> <laughs> my mom is proud and she loves these tattoos, by the way. She, my grandmother also, oh my. she's 88 years old and she loves these tattoos as well. Um, and they're neat. We can always find something that even they will enjoy. And then they get to take it off. It's really, it's really fun. I think, um, you know, th that you mentioned that you you actually have done a dog. We did we did tattoo Someone, a dog. Yeah. It was a uh, fan of the Patriots, and they oh, wanted okay. one of the Patriots players' numbers tattooed on the dog. It was a small bulldog, really really cool looking. So we did a tattoo on it. Right, that's fun to yeah. do. you know. Dog seemed to like it. I'll have to have you do Lola. And there we go. Very nice. That is nice. Okay, do we have one so, more? One, one last one. I'm get this on my back. You're gonna have it on your back. Okay. It's nice because we can, we really can put these tattoos almost anywhere anybody would like. Um, all of our artists are very experienced, so they've dealt with um, putting hundreds of tattoos on hundreds of people at uh, lots and lots of events. Just put your head up if you could for me so that you keep it nice and natural. There you go. This tattoo here is uh, usually done in just a traditional black color, which is what I'll do today. A lot of people really enjoy the just the black tattoo. They feel it looks maybe the most maybe realistic. Maybe if you put your arm down just a little, the oh, viewers can sure. see. Sure. I'm sorry. That, yeah, that's nice. Okay. Yeah.
Very nice. Yeah. We, it was interesting when you asked about some of the reasons why people do tattoos. We've been hired on by um, just lots of different organizations for the purpose of mm -hmm. doing their logo, just specifically doing their logo at a different event or what have you. And um, that is, a, it's a really, as I was saying earlier, it's a great way to tie people into that specific event and then also advertise. Do you have the artistic hand to do a lot? Do you do it yourself, the stencils? We don't actually make the stencils ourselves. We hire out to a, um, an organization I've been working with for several years, mm -hmm. and they do really great-looking professional stencils that will just last for years and years and years. So uh, it's a great, useful tool for anybody who's looking to market their okay. business or um, market their cause. There we go. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Switched cameras. And we're almost done with this young lady. I'm just taking a little bit of extra time uh, Ooh, just to get a show. clear view of how nice. we do Nice. Very nice. Wow. Great. Beautiful. Let it dry. You're and welcome. We dry in just a few minutes. Thank you, Kamara. That's my pleasure. You did a great job Thank for you. us. Thank you. Thank you very much. My pleasure, Jeannie. Thank you. You're welcome. So how... How do you think that went? I think you brought smiles to their faces. Yeah, they seem to be excited. Oh they gosh. seem to like it. Yeah. Wow, it's addicting. It's yeah. addicting. I mean, I, I noticed that it's hard for someone to choose, even though it's temporary. It's still going on them, and where they want to put it, what colors. I mean, because you, you said that you can do all colors. It doesn't right. have to be just black. Right. So I noticed that, you know, that, that's a huge decision, even though it's temporary. My gosh. Yeah, it's amazing uh, how long some people will take to choose to put this on. It's only going to last five or ten days, up to two weeks perhaps. But it's a personal thing, and, and people uh, really care about what they want to wear. As I say, it, it, it's very much a fashion accessory. Mm -hmm. And uh, those who... Uh, who have already taken advantage of tattoos certainly um, represent that. They take sometimes a half an hour to decide on a tattoo, and that's great. That's great. Mm -hmm. we, we want them to get what they love. So. so we mentioned before we did the demonstration, you mentioned that you're in Faneuil Hall, but then you also do parties and other events so people can get in touch with you, can bring you into their their world. Absolutely. A big uh, portion of our business is private events. Mm -hmm. The Some of the main areas of private events would be birthday parties, bar mitzvahs. We do a lot of corporate events as well. Mm -hmm. um, some fundraisers and charities as well that we're associated with and always looking Beautiful for Beautiful about yeah. fundraisers and charities. It's great. Really. You know, one of the unique things yeah. about these tattoos is um, it's fairly easy for us to create a stencil of a specific logo. We can virtually create what anyone would want to put wow. on their body. So with some of the corporate events that we do or some of mm -hmm. the uh, charities that we do, mm -hmm. we'll actually create a stencil for the organization mm -hmm. and then put it on the guests uh, at the event. It ties everyone into the event. Right. It and it's promotion a lot of for yeah. the business, too, for the event, for the fundraiser. It's, it's a pr walking it's like a walking billboard. You're, you're a human billboard. That's <laughs> oh right. Yeah, that's and how And they I didn't even know it. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. So there's a lot of history behind tattoos that we, were, we mentioned in the beginning mm. of the show. And I know that's, that there are some that pertain to why people don't get them. And what would that be for? Well, one of the basic things is that it's against the religion of many people. Mm -hmm. um, one of the areas that we service quite a bit is bar mitzvahs. And of course, uh, Jewish individuals cannot have a tattoo on their body or else they're not able to be buried in a Jewish cemetery. Really? Yeah, that's, that's the case. Wow. Well, um, airbrush, tattoo prov airbrush tattoos provide a great option for them. And th it, they really love it. They so it really gets it out it. of their system. Absolutely. They, they want what they sure, can't have. Sure, sure. Everybody would like yeah. to have that, especially yeah. as you say, if you, if you can't. So um, when we do bar mitzvahs, it's never just the kids. It's always the adults and the They've grandmother. And, yeah, they <laughs> all really love it. And uh, so it's great for, for different religions or different groups that cannot have a tattoo. Um, we're able to offer them an option. It's temporary. It's painless, mm -hmm. and you know they they seem to love it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What's funny is that I think kids might be a little nervous sometimes, and because they're thinking it's going to hurt, 
right. right? Because they think it's going to be real. But your personality must ease them and, you know, makes them feel more comfortable. Well, thank you right? for that. Yeah. Thanks. You know, I, I try to get into kids' worlds. Um, that's just something that I have had since I was a young child myself. I always, mm -hmm. you know, uh, really enjoyed younger children. So, yeah, I, I, I take a lot of pains to really make children feel comfortable. Mm -hmm. I've got a really good routine to make them comfortable with the machine because it, it is reminiscent of a real tattoo machine. And you're right, they can get a little bit uh, nervous. So you have to be an entertainer <laughs> and yeah. a therapist. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You do to some degree. And you also have to be really patient and have um, almost no boundaries whatsoever. Because when you're doing a private event, the kids just come right in and they're crowding. It's like bees to honey. Yeah, yeah. You're the so, honey. <laughs> sure, sure. So I've had events where kids are literally crawling on my shoulders mm -hmm. and my back just to get a look at what's happening. Wow. And that's great. We, we wouldn't have it any other way. You like the attention, too. Sure, Who doesn't? why not? Sure, why not? From, from such yes. great people, you know, mm -hmm. special little kids. It's, it's wonderful. That is great. It's wonderful. So what else? What is, what is your next? I mean, I have a feeling that you're just continuing to grow. Where do you see yourself and what will you be doing in the next year? Right now we've, uh, we've just brought on a, a, a marketing person and we're looking to expand the business. I think someone's calling you now to book an could event. Be, it, could, it could be an <laughs> event booking. Uh, excuse me for that. Um, and we've, we've decided to expand the business mm -hmm. and we're looking to grow the uh, private end portion of the business so reaching out to more families who would like to enjoy this in their homes um, at an affordable cost and looking for something new to entertain their children with. Everyone's done the clowns and the uh, face painters and that kind of thing because it's oh, been around for right. so long. This right. is something that's brand new and really brings wow. a new freshness to a birthday event or, or some kind of special event. So uh, we're looking to expand mm -hmm. that, reach into more homes and, and, and get out there and be more active with people. What about competition? I mean, this is something that, you know, people, you're very creative and you're also, you have a business mind and there's competition, but there's also, you know, you can't be afraid of competition. It's about your service and what you provide mm. and your personality and and everything that that goes with it you're you're very giving with your you know with your business and oh, well, offering you. yourself to fu fundraisers and events and traveling and all of that sure so sure thank you thank you you know anytime you get involved in something that's uh, you're lucky enough to be involved in a, a work area career that is also tied into what you're personally um, gifted with and what you're personally about as a person, um, then I think that you're going to have success, you know. It's why you've been around for so long. I think so. I mean, you, and you've had trial and error and it only made you stronger. Sure. And you have a great reputation. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you very well, much. Well, thank you for joining us on the set. Our show is about bringing Hollywood to real life and that's why we're here for you to bring the mad tatter to you. Thank you, Kamar. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Thanks for having me. Yeah. So, okay. so we'll see you next time on the set with Jeannie Marie D'Amico.